Hello and welcome back to the Docker course. My name is Gabor Sabo and um, it, it has been some time since I've uh, recorded the previous e episode of this uh, series and since then there were some changes. As you might notice, I don't have the headphone anymore because I have an external microphone and you'll see that also the slides uh, got a little bit of uh, changes but uh, the content is, um, is basically the same. I'll hopefully improve the slides that, were, uh, that I was about to show you. So, uh, the previous version, in the previous edition, okay, so first of all, there are the, the link to the slides is here, just as usual, and I already jump ahead to the actual place there we, where we were in the previous video, where we created a um, Docker image based on Ubuntu, and it didn't do much, it just created a, an image and printed out Hello World. Now let's uh, try to do, uh, implement the Docker image, create a Docker file, that will create a Docker image similar to what we did manually earlier. So in a video, two videos ago, uh, we created uh, manually run a Docker uh, container, installed some stuff in it, actually htop basically, and then uh, converted them uh, into an image. Now let's do this as a Docker file, and uh, it's it's rather simple. So this is this is the slide, and let's let's me let me show you actually how it's uh, done. So I'm switching to the command line where I think I already have here the Docker file that we used earlier. So now here, instead of uh, printing out uh, anything, I don't need this, but I need to execute uh, things, commands during the build time of the Docker image. Uh, this is done with the run command. So it's a little, little bit strange why this is called run, the other one is CMD, but uh, probably we can say it's for historical reasons. Um, anyway, so run runs during the build time, and uh, if this is an uh, Ubuntu uh, image, then we have to need do apt get update first. So we'll uh, pull down the list of the repository, the list of the uh, packages that Ubuntu has, and then we can run a separate command, say apt get install. And I add minus y so it won't ask questions, uh, and then htop. And uh, basically that's it, I think. Uh, we just uh, installed uh, htop. So let's uh, build now this docker build minus t uh, my docker. This is the name of the image that I would like to create. And dot means that take the current directory and build from this. Now it, it built me, it, it's pretty fast because uh, Ubuntu already on my computer and uh, I think it actually was using a cache, so uh, maybe I should show you how what does happen when, it, when I don't have the cache. Uh, we'll see that. So now I can run docker uh, run and then um, minus minus rm, so it will be removing the uh, file, uh, the docker container when it's done and then minus it, so it's going to be interactive mode, and my docker, which is the name of the image. Uh, we started the docker container, and inside now we are supposed to have htop, and we have. So we basically created, recreated the same thing that we had earlier. Now I just exit, pressed ctrl D to exit the docker uh, container. So let's say docker ps minus a, says that actually I have something there that uh, was I was playing around with apparently 40 minutes ago when I was uh, still doing this. So docker uh, remove and let's say, let's pick up the, the ID and now I don't have it anymore. Okay, docker images, docker images. So I have the docker images and this is the one that I actually don't really need, right? So I would like to remove it. Docker, uh, actually, maybe let's just remove everything. So Docker, remove uh, every, remove the image. And then I can say, well, I, I say it my Docker and I also say Ubuntu. I think that's gonna be remove it. Um, no, sorry, it, I have to tell exactly the version number. Otherwise it will look for the latest. And it doesn't have the my docker anymore, of course, because it already removed it previously. So I'm showing you all kind of uh, manual mistakes. There are also these uh, other ones that uh, 
uh, I should remove. These are intermediate uh, images. So let's just do this. Images minus Q shows all the image IDs, and then I can run Docker RMI, and then just remove all the image IDs. So it's removing all of them, and then Docker images gives me an empty list. And now let's run the Docker build again. So this time it needs to. It starts from scratch. It needs to first uh, download Ubuntu, the Ubuntu image. It will take a couple of seconds. Then it starts building upon it. So you can see it started the apt-get update, which takes some time because it downloads the list of all the packages that Ubuntu has, and then runs what you can see now is the apt-get install htop, sorry, and that does it. There is some red thing here. Um, doesn't matter for now, dev.conf is not running, but we, need, we see that it successfully built the Docker image, and now we can see that Docker image is. So we have these both two images. Okay, the old others were apparently my experiments that I did before we started to run the, the record the video. And then I can Docker run uh, again, exactly the same as I did earlier. So I have this command enter it gets into the uh, inside and i can run htop and that's it there so basically that's it let me switch back to the slide that's what basically what you can see here now i see that there is something else that i forgot to do so let me show this one as well uh, in the previous version apparently we also had a text file that we were just cr just created manually so we can do the same here let me switch back to the terminal. Uh, first, I have to leave the, uh, the container. I open the Docker file and then add, uh, and add, I add another run command that says echo and then it's just uh, hello world, whatever, doesn't matter, and into the welcome.txt. So this will create a file called welcome.txt with this content hello world while we are building the image. I run docker build, okay, so this is the command, docker build minus t, and uh, then it created, and now I can run the docker run command, and besides the htop, so let's just make sure we still have htop, now if I run ls minus l, you can see that there is the welcome.txt here, and I can look at the com content of it, and it says hello world. So now I leave this just leave the docker image, docker container, sorry, the image is still there, there's no container, docker ps minus a, well, there's no container left because I used minus rm, minus minus rm, and uh, that's it for this, uh, for this session, uh, and then we're going to learn in the next one how can we actually avoid this echo command and uh, actually copy the file into the docker um, image. So that's it for now. Um, Please repeat the whatever command, so try it yourself, that's the best way to learn. Try it yourself and try to play with it, uh, install some, some other package uh, and to see how it works uh, for you. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.